The death toll in the aftermath of a typhoon in Vietnam climbed to 233 on Friday as rescue workers recovered more bodies from areas hit by landslides and flash floods, state media reported. Flood waters from the swollen Red River in the capital, Hanoi, were beginning to recede somewhat, but many neighborhoods remained inundated, and farther north experts were predicting it could still be days before any relief was in sight. Typhoon Yagi made landfall Saturday, starting a week of heavy rains that have triggered flash floods and landslides, particularly in Vietnam's mountainous north. Across Vietnam, 103 people are still listed as missing and more than 800 have been injured. The United Nations Children's Agency, UNICEF, said the storm and its aftermath has also damaged some 550 health facilities, 800 schools and more than 100,000 homes, while leaving more than 3 million people with no access to safe drinking water. It said it is working with the government and other partners to deliver bottled water, purification tablets, filtration systems and other emergency aid to the area's hardest hit. Russian President Vladimir Putin on Thursday held bilateral meetings with Indian and Iranian representatives in St. Petersburg. Putin told the Indian Prime Minister's advisor on national security, Ajit Doval, and Iran's Secretary of the Supreme National Security Council, Ali Akbar Ahmadian, that he looks forward to meeting with the leaders of both countries at the BRICS summit in October. He also proposed separate bilateral talks with Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Iranian President Masood Pazeshkian on the sidelines the summit in Kazan. He was keen to brief you about his visit to Ukraine and his meeting with uh, uh, President Zelensky. And he wanted me to come 
specially and personally and brief you about the talks. The talk was in a very close format. It was only the two leaders. He had his two persons with him. I happened to be with the Prime Minister. So I was a witness to the meeting. I attended that conversation. Ценим, что сотрудничество с Россией остается приоритетом и для команды нового президента господина Масуда Кеани. И ждем его в Казани 22-24 октября на саммит БРИКС. На, думаю, мы найдем время и для отдельной двухсторонней беседы. Мы будем рады видеть его в России и с полноценным визитом, в рамках которого подпишем новый большой межгосударственный договор, призванный закрепить выход российско-иранских отношений на уровень стратегического партнерства. آقای پزشکیان در روی شهر نسبت به روسیه هیچ تفاوتی با گذشتگان خودشون ندارن من با ایشون چندین بار با مکرر صحبت کردم ایشون قائل به همون حفظ و توسعه روابط هستند <تصفيق>